This is question number 11 of the fifth grade math TN Ready practice test for Tennessee. This is a no calculator question because we're in subpart one and it has this little graphic here. Jose is packing cube shaped blocks in the box shown. Which two expressions could be used to calculate the volume of the box in cubic units? Cubic units, what's that? So when we do volume, it's a three dimensional setup. So if this is units, or say it's in centimeters or meters or whatever, when I do the multiplication part, when I multiply units together, it actually gives me, I would multiply unit one times unit one times unit one, and it gives me unit, when you multiply these together, you add the exponents, so I get units to the third. So, and it could be centimeters to the third or whatever. That's what cubic units means, that's just an aside. Anyway, when I have a three-dimensional figure and I'm trying to find the volume because it's a three-dimensional measure, I have to think about, okay, it's not just how long it is or how much width it has, it's also uh, depth or height or whatever. So I'm actually going to break this out into individual parts as it goes up so you can see what this box will look like filled up just to give you a general feel of how that's going to go. Okay, so this is what that looks like. You have six by twos here these are six by twos these are supposed to be the same size but they're not so just pretend and there's four units which means there's four units in height which means there's four stacked on top of each other that's what the total volume would be i would just add all those together so one of the things i could do is say like okay if i had this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so this is 12 units inside this box and there's one, two, three, four of them, that would cover everything. So if there's a 12 by 4 in here, that is one of the answers that I could choose. Which two expressions? So I need one more. I should have circled this two in the beginning, but I didn't. So, I mean, I guess I could go back, but here we are. And the other is, okay, well, what else could I do? Well, if I do 6 times 2 to give me the 12, so this is 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, and there's two of those rows, so this would be, each individual one of these would be six times two, and then there's four total, I would just do six times two times four. So also V is a correct answer that I could have chosen here. So there's the uh, general setup of this style of question. I don't know why this six looks so bad, it just does. So if you have a three-dimensional figure, you need to, in most cases, multiply, and you'll find the values at each one of the levels, especially in a rectangular prism like this. Um, and if you want to draw them out, you can. I really didn't need to. I was just trying to give you a visual cue of what it looks like. Also, if you find one that you're relatively sure of, find one that is the same thing shown in a different way. I knew 12 times 4 had to be an answer because if I count them all, if I counted these, it would give me 12, plus 12 more is 24, plus 12 more is 36, plus 12 more is 48, and 12 times 4 is 48. I could say, well, what's another way to show 12 times 4? Well, 6 times 2 is 12 times 4 gives me 48. So these should give me the same answer, where if I did adding, wouldn't work. 12 times 2 is not the same. This isn't the same, and this isn't the same. So in some cases, where they the expressions have to be the same value, finding one that you feel really good about makes it easier to find the other one because you can just uh, make sure that they have the same final value. So that's question number 11.